What's up, Bulls fans? Welcome back to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. And on tonight's episode, we're talking about the Chicago Bulls beating the Indiana City Pacers in overtime, winning 132 to 129 in a game where DeMar DeRozan stepped up and showed why he's still such a great player. I would assume we showed he could be clutch, and we saw a pretty scary injury from Kobe White. We'll talk about all that after the intro. Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. What's up, guys? Once again, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. And with that, let's talk about it. The Chicago Bulls pulled out the victory against the Indiana City Pacers, and we really didn't think they would, probably would. I thought they were definitely going to lose this game. When you look at the Pacers, you look at the type of offense that they have, I assumed the Bulls just wouldn't be able to keep up, but they proved me wrong, and that started out with Io DeSumo coming out the gate with aggression, Alex Caruso being able to shoot, and that is something that you want to see from this team, is Alex Caruso being great offensively, this was one of his best games offensively in almost two years, Alex Caruso with 23 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, he went to work, but that does not push down also what Ayo Sumo did. Ayo Sumo with 20 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 5 for 6 from the free throw line, and he went to work as well, starting this game out really going after getting the first 5 points for the Bulls, and they looked like they had a good handle for the first quarter. Now, we went into the second corner, and that all changed, okay? Indiana decided they were going to play us differently. They changed their scheme on defense, and they started to get after us. And the Bulls, honestly, just started to make bad decisions. We tend to get sloppy when young teams go after us defensively. And that's something we have to work on if we want to be a better team. But Indiana came back. They took the lead. They went up by, I believe it was an 8 or 10 at one point, And the Bulls did not give up. They came back to play on the back of DeMar DeRozan putting in work, having an amazing game. DeMar scored 46 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, and a lot of that was in the 4th in overtime where he really decided to take over this game, showing why he's the king of the 4th and also why he's one of the most clutch players in the NBA. Not only did he take over, but he also hit the game-tying mid-range shot with almost no time left on the shot clock, only leaving Indiana 0.3 seconds to take a shot on their end, but he came out in the overtime and went to work as well. And also, bigger than that, when the chips were on the table, Idesuma was looking to pass him the ball. He pointed at him and told him, go take it. And that is something you also want to see. DeMar DeRozan not only being clutch, not only taking over games, but getting the young players to have that confidence to know that they can take those shots and he's okay with giving it up, that he trusts them enough to take a game at the end. And that's a great thing to see as well. We also saw Vooch with 12 points, 12 rebounds, 3 assists. This was a game where Vooch wasn't the best. Honestly, you can see he's starting to regress. He's not playing the same he has the last couple of years. And that's something the Bulls are going to have to think about. I mean, we're stuck with him. We're not going to get rid of him this season. So you have to figure out a way to play him now with the current roster. But just another game where Vooch did okay, not the best, not the worst. But I definitely want to see more for him on the defensive end. Kobe White, 15 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists. This is something that I was dreading talking about, and that is Kobe White getting injured, okay? Kobe, towards the end of this game, went up for a layup. It got blocked by Siakam. Siakam fell on Kobe, and it looked like Kobe could have pulled something, tore something. I don't know what it is, but it did not look the greatest, and I want to keep hope. I want to believe that he is okay, and this is just one of those things that look worse than it actually is because I don't want the Bulls to have to, one, deal with having even more of their star players out for the rest of the season. 
But on top of that, I want Kobe to not have to deal with an injury. We've seen him go out with injuries before. We know he has started to understand the game. He's starting to really get his spot to a point where even PG is out there talking about how good Kobe White can be. Paul George on the interview talked about how he thinks Kobe White's going to win most improved player and how he is here to stay in the league. And that's something where you want to see him keep growing. You want to see him build on. So seeing something like him getting injured or even a chance of it being something more serious is super scary. I'm wishing the best. I hope he's okay. Now that takes me to Torrey Craig. God, did we miss Torrey Craig? 10 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, a Torrey Craig game. He was everywhere. He was taking shots, but he was being smart, moving without the ball, getting after it defensively, doing all the things that you love to see from him and Alice Caruso when they're on the court. But he came up big in this game, also putting a lot of things into points where they have to be, such as defense, shooting, aggressiveness, smart plays, smart decisions, ball movement, those are the things you have him for, and it's glad to see that he always gives you 100% on the floor. Last, we're going to talk about the team. Two points, one rebound, one assist. He did okay. I want to see more minutes from Batim. I want to see more minutes from Julian Phillips. They got a decent amount. I think if Kobe is injured or even if he's not super injured, rest them a couple games. We don't need to play him. Let them get some more minutes. Let Kobe rest a little bit. Let's not try to push him back too quickly. And let's let the young players play and show us what they got. But the Bulls pulled it out. They did what they needed to do. They got the victory. And that is what I wanted to see. The most Bulls thing in the world. The times you think they're going to lose, they somehow always figure out a way to win. And it's just one of those things as a Bulls fan where you see red. You see it all the time, whether it's anger, whether it's happiness. You just got to deal with the team you have because it's going to be competitive and it's going to come down to the last two minutes of each and every game whether we're going to win or lose. But with that, what I want to do is hear from you guys. I know I've been away for a little bit. So first, before I ask you to comment, what I'm going to say is I apologize for not making the videos as much for the last week or so. I've been busy with work. I've been working on something special for you guys. I'm hoping to get it out in the next month or so. But what's going to be happening is this channel will have its own merch line. And it's not going to be just a merch line for us as a Bulls fandom. It's going to be a merch line for all you basketball heads out there. It will be called Ball Boy Clothing. And we're going to be putting in work, giving you guys some designs that hopefully you really fuck with. And I want to see, let me know what you guys are thinking about. Let me know what you're seeing in this team. But the comment I want to ask today is going to be, do you think the Bulls are in trouble with Vooch? Do you think Vooch is going to be the downfall of the Bulls next year at the center position? Leave a comment down below. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope to see you next time. Peace, y'all.